thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. We give God praise for his goodness and for his mercy. His love and his kindness he has shown unto us. We praise God for another day, another time to come before him with a victorious word. We're going to be going into a word from the Lord and then we're going to go into prayer. Um, right now, we're going to be looking at the word of the Lord starting at Psalms 37. Psalms 37 and we're going to look at verse 23, 24, and 25. Psalms 37 Verses 23, 24, and 25. It reads like this. It says, The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and his delight is in his way. God orders our steps. He orders the steps of men and women that have a good heart. God positions us, and when we come to Christ as believers and, and as intercessors, when we come to Christ, we come to him with a stony heart, a corrupt heart, a toxic heart. But God, when we give our life to Christ, he changes our heart. If any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Behold, all things have become new. So in Christ, he gives us a new mind, a new heart, and a new spirit. So we see right here, when we align ourselves with the word, it gives us a good heart. And it puts us in step with God. Timing is very important. It's important when it comes to music and singing together. That you have good timing. So you know when to come in and know when to go out. Timing is also important when it comes to a vehicle. That, you, that, that, that the, the timing of the vehicle has to be to flow together and to work together. And the worst thing that you could have is when a vehicle jumped time. We as the people of God, as we stay in the face of God for him to change our hearts and renew our spirits, when we stay in the face of God for him to continue to keep our hearts pure before him, we align ourselves with the timing of God. Sometimes when you're out of time with God, you're trying to get blessings that is not seasoned for or is not time for it. And, but when you get in the timing of God and the, 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 the way of God and the, the will of God and the flow of God, you can operate in the fullness of God because you're in time with God. You're not wanting premature blessings before they have come to rightness in the spirit. Before they come to the point where they are ready to be picked and ready to be um, consumed and ate. But what we don't want is a blessing out of time. So we have to submit ourselves that the steps of a good man are ordered by God. They're in the timing of God. So we want our steps ordered. We want every move that we make ordered in the timing of God. When we understand that's what we do in prayer, we seek the face of God for his perfect timing and for his perfect will. So God is aligning us right now with the time of God and the, 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 the sink of God and the flow of God. Satan's agenda is to get us out of time with God. 
So we have to understand that we don't want to be behind time and we don't want to be before time. So we're going to stay in prayer so we can be ready to receive the now blessings of God, the now promises of God, that some things right now we need to pull into the natural and pull into the now today by speaking of the promise of God for today. For all of the promises of God are yea and nay and amen. But all the promises of God have a time. We have to be ready to receive it. And so we do That's what happened in prayer. We allow God to condition us for the timing of God and the flow of God and the season of God. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. In verse number 24, it says this. And the steps of the good man are ordered by the Lord and he delights in his way. The Lord delights in the way of a man that has good steps but are ordered by the God, ordered by the Lord. Verse 24 says, though he fall. That's what we've been talking about all this week. Though he fall. Now the, the, the other verse in Jude 24, it says, now unto him that is able to keep us from falling. Then we see that all have fallen and short, fallen short of the glory of God. What happens is sometimes we stumble, but God is not going to let the fall destroy us. Can I say it again? God is not going to let the fall season destroy us. God is not going to let what's going on now to destroy us. So if you fall, it's not going to destroy you when you keep your heart in the place of prayer, when you keep your heart focused on God, when you keep seeking the will of God. Amen. So the verse says, though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down. He will not fall so hard that it will destroy you. In the message we preached on Sunday, we talked about the leaf falling off the tree. And that's why we got the name fall from the leaves falling. But the leaves that fell, they were designed to fall. And so when they hit the ground, they never, the leaf is still intact. The leaf is still a leaf. It's still intact because God designed it for that process. So whatever we got to go through in this season of fall and in the, every season after, we are designed for that process. So we must understand that everything that falleth to us Every good and perfect gift comes from the Father. Every gift that falls from us, the windows of heaven are open and he's pouring out a blessing. Everything that falls to us in its proper season, it shall fall to us and it will not be destroyed and neither will I. I know your situation is telling you, you are about to go down. I know your circumstance is telling you you're about to go under, but you will not fall to the point where the fall destroys you. You will not fall to the point where this season destroys you. Hallelujah. For the Lord upholdeth him with his hands. We are in the hand of God. We are in the loving, everlasting, unchanging hands of God. Right now, the thing that's holding you up is the hand of God. The thing that's supporting you is the hand of God. The thing that has you covered is the hand of God. The next verse, verse 25, it says, I have been young. And this is the proof that all the past seasons of your life when you were younger, God held you. I, hallelujah, have been young and now I am old. Yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken, 
nor his seed begging bread. So, what we must understand, anything in your life that falls, it fell on, per on the purpose of God. And it was designed to fall without damage. Anything in you that falls, it will fall without damage. If you fall, you're going to fall without damage. But you're going to fall to the glory of God. You're going to fall into your greatness. You're going to fall in your next destiny. You're going to fall into your next victory. You're going to fall for the next generation. So right now, when we understand that whatever God allowed to fall in our lives, it fell on the purpose of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I once was young, but now I'm old, and I never seen the righteous forsaken. I want you to realize that you have a testimony that the righteous has never been forsaken. So right now, we yet believe God's ability. We yet believe in God's be, God being able. So right now, we're getting ready to pray and we're getting ready to seek the face of God. I ask you in the name of the Lord Jesus to meet me in the prayer room. God bless you. We're getting ready to pray.
brings you right now for the strength of God's hand, hallelujah, to be on our lives. We praise you right now for the blessing of the Lord to be on our lives. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus for the sevenfold blessing of God. We pray that you bless us in a way that we have never seen before. Not that we may get the glory, but God, that your name may be magnified. Not that we may be lifted up, God, but that your name should be glorified. So right now, in the name of Jesus, we ask you for an outpouring in our lives like never before. Father, not for selfish reasons, but before your glory. But most of all, God, right now, in the name of Jesus, we ask you for strength for the battle. In the name of Jesus, for the glory of God, give us strength, oh God, to stand in the evil day. Give us strength, oh God, to stand when the enemy comes in like a flood. Give us strength, oh God, to stand when the devil's trying to block us. Father, give us strength in the name of Jesus to forgive our enemy. Give us strength, oh God, to forgive those that lie on us. Give us strength, oh God, to show forth your love. Give us strength, oh God, to show forth your way. Give us strength, oh God. Father, we need your strength in this season, in this day, in this hour. We need the strength of the Lord Father send strength right now to that single mother send strength right now to that mother that's burdened with the burden of her child God give us strength right now the one that wants to give up in this season oh God hallelujah we need the strength of the Lord oh God we need God's strength right now. Father, send strength out of heaven. Send strength. Hey, Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We yield to the process of God. We yield to the process of God. We yield to the process of God. Hallelujah. We yield to the way of God. We yield to what God is doing. Father, in the name of Jesus, we yield to the process. Hallelujah. We yield to the plan of God. Hallelujah. Father, there was those right now that's dealing with you listening in their bodies. Hallelujah. Oh, God, whatever it is, we try things out of the bloodline. I won't say, we try the inherited disease out of the bloodline. Oh, God, we counsel the tradition I won't say, of the inherited diseases. We counsel the past tradition of the inherited diseases. Father, the things that our mothers had, we praise you right now for giving us victory over them. The things that our grandparents had, we thank you for giving us victory over them. In the name of Jesus, we bind up cancer right now. Father, we celebrate the fact that this month that we stop and give you praise for everyone that was healed with cancer. We praise God right now that you are yet a healer. In the name of Jesus, we give you glory, God. You are our healer of both body and soul. Father, you are healed our bodies, so we praise you. Father, in the name of Jesus, we give you glory. We give you praise that you heal from cancer. And God, you ain't stopped healing yet. You're still a healer. Even in 2020, you're still Jehovah Rapha, the Lord thy God, and I will say uh, that he will think somebody receive your healing right now. Oh, yes, God, yes, God, we lose it in the atmosphere. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, heal, heal God, heal God, heal God, heal. Thank you, Jesus, thank you, Lord. Thank you, God, for keeping our bodies healed. Father, heal of breast cancer in the name of Jesus for your glory. Thank you, Jesus. 
We pray for that individual that's suffering, even going through chemotherapy right now. They want to give up the body is tired, but God, we yet pray for strength in the name of Jesus. But God, we praise you for a manifestation of your healing. In the name of Jesus. I pray for that mother that has to walk in that jail cell right now. That has to walk in that jail right now and see that child. I pray for that mother that's sitting in the courtroom right now and yet crying. Because of what that child has done. I thank you that you give them grace and mercy in this season. They may stand in that child. And that may be the mother they need to be. I praise you right now for your grace and your mercy being upon their lives. Right now, even as they stand in that jail right now. In the name of Jesus, for the glory of God. Father, give them strength in this season when they feel like they ought to give up. Give them strength in this season they feel like they ought to throw in the towel. We praise God for the grace of God on our side. We intercede on this day, hallelujah, for mothers everywhere. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah. Father, we ask that you help them hold their heads up in this time. I will say, hold their heads up in this time. Hold, hold them not only the mother, but the entire family. So hold them up in the name of Jesus. We intercede to the Holy Spirit. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Do it for your glory. Do it for your honor. Yes, God. Yes, God. Oh, do it for your glory. Yes, God. Yes, do it for your honor. Do it for your praise. Do it for your honor. Hey, do it for your praise, God. Do it. God, strengthen right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That one that's at the point of doing something that they know God has not ordained them to do. Thank God for them being at the, at the place where they can yet see the glory. Father, when the, when, when the opportunity comes, give them strength to say no. Father God, we thank you right now to give them strength to stand in holiness. Oh, yes, God. Yes, God. Give them strength. Hallelujah. To stand in righteousness. Hallelujah. Give them strength to stand in purity. Hallelujah. Give them strength to stand in your will, God. Hallelujah. When they want to make the wrong decision, give them the strength to be your vessel, God. Father, you pour it into them before the foundation of the world and an anointing for deliverance. You pour it into the foundation of the world of ministry to the nations. And Satan's agenda right now is to fight. His plan is to block. His idea is to stop. But I pray right now that by the grace of God you shift some things in the spirit for your glory and for your honor. You shift some things in the Holy Ghost by your power and by your grace. Father, we release your power in the earth. We release your will in the earth. We release your way in the earth. We release your plan in the earth. We release the plan of God, hallelujah, in the earth, in the name of Jesus. Thy will be done. Thy glory be revealed. Thy power be manifested. Oh, God, yes, God, yes, yes, yes. Release in the earth what you want to do, God. Have your way in the midst of your people. Father, we yet give your name praise. We yet give your name glory. Right now, we thank you. We release holiness in the earth. Hallelujah. Give us a desire to live holy. Hallelujah. Give us a desire to live pure before you. Hallelujah. Give us a desire to live right before you. Give us a desire to walk in your way, God. Hallelujah. Give us a desire to walk in your plan, God. Give us a desire to live for you, Jesus. Oh, God, we thank you, Lord. Thank you, God, for what you're doing in the midst of your people. Father, we praise you right now that somebody don't see Christ in our lives. Father, I pray for every individual that's on a job that's working in a toxic atmosphere. Hallelujah. I pray that Christ yet be revealed in an atmosphere that's crazy. I pray right now that confused, in the midst of confusion, that they let Christ be glorified. Hallelujah. In the midst of confusion, that Christ be 
magnified oh in the midst of the confusion that Christ name be lifted up in the midst of confusion that the name of God be glorified Holy Ghost work in that believer right now oh God don't let them say the wrong thing hallelujah don't let them say the wrong word God hey keep our tongues holy God only you can take the tongue up and we ask you right now to let the Holy Ghost move in that person's lives right now let the Holy Ghost hey, move in that individual's life right now because somebody needs to see Christ and the name of God must be glorified and the will of God must be revealed so right now God in the midst of our trials reveal Christ in us hallelujah and let Christ be magnified let Christ be glorified let Christ be lifted up oh yes God yes God yes God yes 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 we say yes to the will of God we say yes to the way of God. We say yes to the mind of God. Right now, in the name of Jesus, we rebuke Satan's plan. Hallelujah. We we rebuke the agenda of Satan off of your body in the name of Jesus. And we give God's name glory. And we give God's name praise for his healing power right now. We believe God. We believe God, we believe God for his healing power. We believe God for his greatness. We believe God for his food. We believe God for his deliverance. We believe God for his blessing. We believe God in your body. We believe God. We send a word of healing to your bones. Scale the system work right. In the name of Jesus, every connection of the moment, we command our writers to cease right now. In the name of Jesus, we command bones to remain and heal as God has ordained that they heal that stronger. In the name of Jesus, in the most respiratory, we claim total healing. We claim total healing in the respiratory. In the name of Jesus, in the most
souls in our spirit and anything the devil has stolen from us concerning our physical. We believe in God today for a restoration. In the name of Jesus, heal every vessel that's yielded to your spirit. Heal every vessel that's yielded to your call. Heal every vessel in the name of Jesus. And Father, even those that have aged, let the saints of God age in the beauty of the Lord. Let the saints of God age with the sweetness of God. Let the saints of God age with the blessing of God. And Father, let their latter be greater than their former. We praise your name right now for deliverance and victory and power. Father, we thank you that you shall give the glory out of our lives. God, restore memory. We bind up all hymers. We stop it right now. We command the memory loss to be restored. Devil, give it back sevenfold. We release the remembrance of the saints of God in the name of Jesus. We speak to the blood and the, the blood of the secretary system. We speak to the heart, give it long life. Father, right now, lay your hands upon the heart of your people. Strip of that muscle that it may pump in the way you want it to pump. I don't know, shit. In the name of Jesus, strengthen it, strengthen it, strengthen that muscle right now in the name of Jesus. Strengthen it in the name of Jesus, and not only that muscle, but every muscle in that body that it contract and function as it's supposed to in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, I won't say another, I won't say it, I won't say Oh, God, I won't say Strengthen right now that heart and that muscle. Every muscle in the body, strengthen it right now. Let the blood flow. Father, we bind up blood clots in the name of Jesus. We bind up blood clots in the name of Jesus. We bind up blood clots in the name of Jesus. They cannot function in our bodies. We bind them all of us. Yes, God, yes, God. We break them up in the spirit of the Lord. We decree healing. The Bible says by his stripes we are and were healed. So today we stand in total healing in our bodies in the name of Jesus. For the glory of God. We claim healing, oh God. We claim healing in our bodies, yes, God. We claim healing in our bodies, yes, Lord. And I must say, yes, God, we claim healing, God. Healing in our bodies, God, in our minds. God, give us the mind of Christ, first of all. But, and give us a mind to serve you, God, second of all. But God, let our mind be quick in the spirit. I release in the atmosphere of creativity in the lives of your people. I release creativity in every intercessor's life. I heard a whole shit. In every prayer warrior's life, as they pray and seek your face, I release an anointing for creativity in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Receive your creativity right now. Hallelujah. Oh, we were created to create. Hallelujah. We were created to create, I will say, right now I release your anointing to creativity in the name of Jesus, I will say, your blessing is already in your hand, I will say, your blessing is already in your mouth, hallelujah, your blessing is already in your spirit, I will say, yeah, we release it right now, we stir up those gifts. We stir up those impartations. We stir up those anointings. Hallelujah. We stir up those directions. Hallelujah. We stir up those gifts in you. Hallelujah. Every word the devil been speaking to your heart that you can't do this and you can't do that. I bind them right now. Hallelujah. And I stir up in your spirit the courage and the faith within your own self to do what God has called you to do. Oh God, I call you out of laziness. I call you out of do nothing. I call you out of complacency. I call you out of that low place. And I call you in the soundness of God. Because God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of love and of power and a sound mind. I call you in the soundness. Hey, glory, 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 God. I call you into soundness.
soundness. I call you into soundness. I call you into soundness of mind. I call you into the soundness of mind. I call you into the soundness of mind. I call you the I call you to the place where you're going to do the impossible. I call you to the place where you're going to do the greatness of God. I call you to the place where God's going to manifest the glory in your life. I call every intercessor, every prayer warrior, every child of God into the will of God. Oh, holy are you, God. Holy are you, God. Holy are you, God. Holy God. Holy God. Holy God. Holy Thank you for hearing our prayer. Thank you for hearing our supplication. Thank you for giving us what we need. Father, in this season, we ask you that you will continue to give us grace. You're the God over the pandemic, and you're yet in control. In the midst of chaos, you are still God. So we trust you in this time. Amen. We thank you for ordering our steps and giving us strength to stand and be the vessels and the believers he's called us to be. For your glory and your honor. In Jesus' name we pray. And we give your name glory. And we say hallelujah. And amen. Hallelujah. And amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We praise God for every victory he has for you. There's a promise of God that is locked up in today. That your praise and your prayer will release. So right now, in the name of Jesus, go and receive the full blessings of the Lord. Today, be blessed in the kingdom of God, for God's glory and his honor. Amen. your name.